Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be continuing on with evolving one of your guys' solar systems from birth to death. So we're continuing on with the Algol system here from last week and if you remember, if you've seen that video, definitely check it out if you haven't already. This system had a pretty wild uh, loss of objects after we uh, had a rogue round of war fly in and cause absolute carnage to the system. And as we can see, it's not in a good state now and it is only going to get worse from here as the star continues to evolve so without further ado we're going to continue to speed this simulation up look at the orbit see that this was we ruined this thing we absolutely ruined it you can see the orbits are very eccentric got some elliptical you know like, it's just carnage look at all the gas shine orbits this was all stable at one point but as soon as we had that little brown dwarf visitor it turned the system into absolute chaos and none of these orbits is great you can see the gas shine orbits they're changing they're coming into each other now so it could cause some real issues with a constant evolution that we are currently doing. So even the dominant gas giant, the orange one there, that one's orbit's changing like crazy. If we zoom further out, you see the whole system is just falling apart. And it's not looking great. We can see something has been ejected already over there. The game won't let me select it properly, as you can see. It's been a very, very strange. I'm trying to spam click it. Look, oh, it's such a nuisance. There we go, delete, go away. Right, so there you go. Look how elliptical that orbit is over there, that one. Oh, man. We've still got some, what trail is that? <laughs> Wow. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, that wow, what happened to that one? That one is very far away. Let's just pause it. There it is. Wow, that's a that's a long shot. What's that yellow trail as well? Who's that? There it is. Well, wow, what happened to that one? Oh man, that one's miles out. There it is. Well, how fast it's actually travelling. Sick of the speed. Whoa. So what's that in terms of? Three thirty-seven thousand light speed. Am I reading correctly? What that one there? That one got absolutely. Yeah, that's a lot of kilometers a second. What happened to that? That got absolutely annihilated. What happened to that? Wow. Okay. Right. So that's everything where we were. All right. Let's continue. So there you go. That is quite <laughs> quite the experiment there. Right. There you go. Let's continue. So star itself and actually before we do the star itself just a little observation of the inner system here look at these look at the temperature on that that is skyrocketing everywhere so not looking great very high temperatures there again the thousands here i mean we're in the, completely in the red ring of the hatable zone there we're even in the black part of the ring actually this one is a very low temperature look at the juvian one is I'm guessing it's not the most reflective thing out of, or guessing it is very reflective so there you go these wells were formerly hatable. Look at them now, completely ruined. Both for the blue trailed objects. And everything in this inner region. They're going to get engulfed soon. This object here as well. It's always hard to select stuff. Look at that. I'm just trying to click on the object and it's all over the place. <laughs> so this little thing here is going to get absolutely swarmed as soon as it goes into the star when the star evolves next. Because this thing's orbit is not big enough to hold that. But yeah, the star itself. Let's continue. So, radius is getting bigger. There you go. Getting to the bigger size. Luminosity, again, I'm going to skyrocket this now. I'm going to put it to 16 or 6,000, sorry. So there you go. Huge increase there. We can see at this little object, it's going to fly in and it is going to be absolutely smashed to shreds when it collides with the star. And it's about to go in now and it is gone. <laughs> Just this integrated there. Our star's getting quite hot in temperature. It's up to 9,000 now. So it's getting pretty, pretty hot. All right, there you go. Let's continue. How hot is the inner system now? I mean, these guys are going to be swelteringly hot now. Yeah, 3,000 plus on these former uh, rocky worlds. So not looking great at all. Let's continue with more evolution time. Just go as fast as we can go. Look at that. So there you go. But still, the orbits are absolutely drastic. There's stuff flying absolutely everywhere there. Not much activity from the gas giants ejecting stuff necessarily, but there's a lot of stuff all just getting slung around uh, quite a lot. The outer system seems a little more... Less chaotic with all this stuff, just long orbits. You can see the orbits getting stretched around here. Something else has gone almost by the looks of things. Oh man. Then over here, you just got this guy just chilling. Not much going on from there at all. I'm guessing it should be receiving sunlight now, though, from this distance, is it? Yeah, there you go. So it is receiving light finally. It's on the edge, watching all the chaos unfold with its little moon there. So, meanwhile, back in the uh, back in the center here, things are getting uh, a bit out of hand. As you can see, something else has just gone. That's ejected. There he is out. There you are. Let's continue. Watch this madness continue. I can't believe this one's still going here in that edge. 
a very, uh, very eccentric orbit going on there. There you are. We can see that these guys here, these two objects, are not going to be lasting much longer. How hot is that one? Is that blue hot? 11,000! What is going on there? Is it just going to dissolve? That's a very high temperature. What is going on there? That is... Oh, it did! It's just... I don't know if it collided with a star or what, but it just faded into nothingness. Oh, man. It's gone out completely. This thing's been reduced to nothingness. Look at that. Not looking great. That shouldn't be locked, but not looking great. But anyway, star, I'm going to continue with the increase here. Let's continue. Bigger. Start engulfing those next ones. So you're flaring up to 0.3 AU now. There you go. I'm also going to uh, increase that rotational period just so it doesn't shred itself. So there we go. And there you are. Alrighty. Luminosity. Again, the scar up to 24,000 now. That's getting uh, a little bigger. I think maybe it's a little bit more red now. With a red giant star. There you go. The red makes more sense. There you go. Now it's zone. Oh. There you go. Right, let's continue evolution. There you go. See if any more orbits get torn to shreds here. There you go. Look at those two orbits. On either side of the star, in between the gas channels. There's, those are getting some crazy trails going on from there. If we look at this, that's the actual trails themselves. So for the most part, things look fairly good from that. But if you go to the orbit view, well, it's a whole different story. Oh, yeah. Whoa, what happened there? Oh, this wing pig's just happened. It's all gone carnage. Oh. Is it a gas giant that's being taken out? I don't know. What's that? Is that a gas giant? I think it was. Pause. Pause it. What is that? It was. Oh, was it? No, no it's a rocky planet. I thought it was a gas giant for a second. Oh, there's something happened bad there. Because look at all this. It's just been slung. Huge loss of object there. Whatever that was. No oh, dear. So let's just go ahead and clean out the... Uh, Clean out the ejected stuff because huge, huge loss of objects there. Look at that. Oh man. There you go. There you are. Okay. God, look at the state of it now. One that's a very stable till we showed up, so. Oh, I clicking. Oh god, it's so hard to I don't know what is it what it is with this system, but trying to click on stuff is really, really annoying. There we go. Look, you, my mouse isn't even properly selected on it and it's not. Ah. Oh. That's very annoying. There we go. Look, I'm trying to click on it and it just... Ah! There you go. Look, I'm not even clicking on the object. I have to select around the object to select it. That is very strange. What's that? So one of the Earthlight worlds has gone. Or well, former Earthlight worlds is gone. Some other stuff there. There you go. That's out as well. What is that? That's completely gone. Something kicked off a chain of events there and just threw out all of these guys. Look at that. All of that is... Lost now. What has happened to that one? That is, that's been ejected at a very high speed. Look how flat the plane is as well. There it is. How fast is that traveling at? 0.046 the speed of light. So that's having quite a quick speed as well. So some stuff got absolutely massacred from that. Whatever happened there. Look at the inner system now. Look at these orbits. Just an absolute mad fest in there of orbital chaos whoa -ho -ho. I mean just look at that I mean just turn that off look at those orbits it's just constant there's just no stability whatsoever everything has fallen apart <laughs> it's not looking good is it right let's continue so star itself I think we're going to have to have another stage of engulfing those two inner objects there as this orbit is going to be eaten up there you go, star increasing in size. Both of those orbits are now doomed as they smash into the star. They're gone, they're out. Let's go up to maybe an AU in size now. Getting pretty big. One AU. Let's increase that rotation. So it doesn't do it. There you go. So further engulfing objects. There it is. Let's go and throw a save in as well before bad things happen. So there you go. Looking good. Oh, yeah. That star is monstrous now. It's almost reaching the gas channel. Let's pull it up to almost peak luminosity at this point. That star is getting rapid. Right, everyone. I've had the sim running for a good five minutes just to see what sort of uh, carnage unfolding. It looks like maybe things have stabilized a bit, I want to say. The inner solar system is non-existent. Everything has been wiped. The closest object to the star is now Juvin, the dominant gas giant. And everything before it is gone. It's all been slung out or destroyed or gone there's another thing that's gone out the back there oh dear 
So the inner system is wiped out. That may be due to excessive speed on the sim, though. Because remember, this system does have moons, which do mess up our performance. So, yeah, that's one thing you take a note of. These systems is the less moons, the better, or none at all, really. But there we are. So let's uh, keep it rolling. And I think we're pretty much at peak point of destruction now, as I think the star needs to go bang, bang. So we're going to go ahead and see... Uh, what sort of uh, what we do here? I think I may just detonate it rather than placing the dwarf. I just want to see what sort of uh, madness unfolds. So again, I'm going to make it to maybe peak size. I, I mean, it's not the largest mass. I'm going to put it to. I'm going to slum it to two AU there. I think that's going to be the largest six thing it'll go. Um, luminosity, I mean, a little higher, but I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. Let the sim run for a bit and let's see. Uh, see how the system holds up with that style now. So there you go. There's no no more size in this guy. I don't think it's not large enough to be a, a, a super giant, I'd say. So there you go. So the system is just on its final. Looks like that zone now. How, how far is this guy? Minus 189. It's still nowhere near the uh, point of uh, destruction. There it is. The star's appearing quite large. You can see there's a lot of glowing objects around the star, though. All those hot objects nearby with that 60,000 luminosity going on there. So yeah, more than enough. Let's have a little look. So they're Juvin, the closest planet now. There you go. Well, there's actually one that had a closer orbit. That little uh, little one there. I just saw it go by. Yeah, that little thing there. Hey. <laughs> so there it is. That's having a quite a close flyby as well. Not a planet, though. So looking pretty wild. There's something on a collision course, which is that object out there, which is still taking its time to come back. Oh, man. So there we go. Look at those orbits. Oh, erratic. The orbits are going. Oh, my God. There you go. Oh, yeah. It's pure carnage. It looks like, so since we've had so many moons ejected, it is running better than it once was. So, there you go. Oh, something just slowed down there. Oh, something didn't like it there. Oh, what was that? <laughs> so, there we are. Oh, man. So, let us continue with the speed. There we go. Whoa, what is happening? Oh, I think we just had a madhouse of... Yeah, we broke something. <laughs> what happened there? It's just like all this stuff has been slow. Oh, dear. Oh my god, look at all the stuff that got thrown out. Yeah, the stability of the system is not great. And the running speed a bit, you know, with the, maybe with the moon still probably buried somewhere in there. You know, it just doesn't help with the sim running. It gives us less realistic results. So, there we are. But what I'm going to do is, it's at pretty much the peak size now, isn't it? Okay, it's a little smaller than it was. Um, I'll buff it up to the 2AU again, but I'm going to detonate it. We're going to slow down time. I'm going to see, uh, see what survives, really. So there we go. Let's go ahead and use the tool. Go straight to the detonation. There we go. Let's go to explode. There we go. And there's a pop it. There it is. It is gone. Don't know if there's anything generated in the middle there. Doesn't look like it. I still wish it generated a black hole automatically for you rather than you having to place them yourself because then you, all your orbits go wild. So there you go. And we can plot one quickly, can't we? Just auto orbit just to keep everything in check. So I'll put a one solar mass. Plot that in the middle there. Like so. Just pause it. Plot that there. Quickly do a quick auto orbit just to keep everything in, in line. There you go. And then just see uh, see what survives this explosion, really. If anything. There you go. Like I say, there's a lot of small mass objects. I don't know. See? Is it going to survive? Ooh. Or is it? I don't know. Is it anything hot in there? Or is it all just... It is getting hot. Is it going to dissolve the stuff, though? I don't know. Maybe it isn't. Not sure. Because sometimes the Novas are kind of like, one minute they destroy everything, the next minute they don't. They're a bit unpredictable, but there you go. So that is Star Gone from our Nova there. So bang. There you are. Yeah, it looks like nothing was destroyed. <laughs> it never makes sense. Some of those. There you go. So it looks like the whole lineup is still going. Yeah, I'm going to do that again. I'm going to see if it actually, if we get the same results. Because sometimes the results vary from different tests. So I'm going to just blop it straight away now. And forget the black hole and just see, see what goes on. So. So maybe that auto orbit upset stuff somehow. I have no idea. There you go. Let's plop it. Bang. And again, it looks like a lot of the stuff actually survives it. So I don't know. This system has a higher resistance. I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. We'll do a third test. Third time lucky. See if anything happens. It's really weird. If anyone knows a solution. Or if there is any hidden reason behind why it does that. Let me know. I'm keen to, keen to hear that. We'll slow it down first though. Sometimes that will give us some more accurate results. Let's go ahead and do it. Explode it for the last try. There you go. Different colour Nova, as I don't know if that makes a difference, but there you go. Again, it looks like most of the stuff is going to just survive it. Yeah, bizarre. No idea. But there you go. So that does it for the end of the Algol system there. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, destruction we caused. We completely rigged this thing to blow when we started throwing in uh, additional objects. So that additional brand of really ruined this. 
plus the high simulation running speed. And then, uh, yeah, those orbits today went absolutely insane. But there you go, so that does it for this one. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know what you think down below in the comments. And yeah, stay tuned for more Birth to Death episodes in the future as well. And yeah, that all said, and everybody, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. Let's even go for 100 likes on today's video. Subscribe as well. And yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.